Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening I'll be creating two cards featuring some celebration items which are available from tomorrow, which is 4th of January 2024. So we'll qu quickly go through the celebration stamp sets and the sign of series papers that you can get for free uh, when you place a qualifying order from our online shop. Um, and yes, if you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer, as we will say hello to those of you, to those of you who have joined us. <laughs> I'm trying to say it really quickly. You are trying to say it really quickly. So there because you go. the list is the list is long, and he's scared. It's just going to get longer. <laughs> so hello, Valerie. We also have Cheryl, Mardi, Haya, uh, Cher Cheryl Christensen, uh, Quinn. Pauline, hello Pauline, John, hiya, um, Charlotte, Mary Lou, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, Sandra, hello, Keisha, Happy New Year, Lisa, hello, <laughs> why are you laughing? Because you're funny. <laughs> Kathy Crafty Sessions, Maureen, uh, who else? Heather Shore. Mary, Mary Sickler, Connie, hi Connie. We also have Patricia, Gian, Linda. Hey, class boss, thank you. Uh, Mario, hello to you. And Heather Cole, thank you so much for so, joining us. Hello, yes, thank you. So, um, so yes, yeah, so thank you for joining us. We will just crack on now, I reckon. Um, so remember, anything you see us using can be purchased, um, links down below. Obviously, if it is celebrational from the new mini catalogue, that will be from tomorrow, the 4th of January. But everything else, links can be found down below um, if you wish. Um, so yeah, it's great. some great offers happening tomorrow as well. Yes. Lovely. So let's go camera down and let's see what Jay's going to do with the melons. Enjoy. So yes, so... We've got three stamps set. Is it three? Yes. <laughs> that we got for free so far. Um, and where's the embossing folder? Can you look for that for me? What embossing folder? The one that's for free as well. Okay. Uh, so, yes, I thought I'll just quickly go through. You may have seen this already from our unboxing last month. Uh, but if not, um, you can have a look now. So yes, so uh, watermelon, watercolor melon. Um, so it's no sentiment, but you can build your uh, melons on there. And that one fits in the modern oval punch. And I'll be using that this evening. Uh, it's a, thank you. It's a photopolymer, so you can see through. And the two-step stamping to build those images are um, quite easy. The softly sophisticated um, is a level two, so it's a 90 pounds order and you get these because it's a bundle. So photopolymer stamp set, you have some lovely sentiment. Again, some two-step stamping uh, to build in your um, flower um, bouquet. <laughs> and it comes with the embossing folder, which is a 3D embossing folder, but it's um, it's a flat design with just the indentation of the dots, which is quite nice because most of the 3D embossing folder from Stampin' Up, it's all different levels, which is lovely as well. Uh, but this is, um, I would say, other than the basic um, 3D embossing folder that's uh, online exclusive, this is the kind of like most latest ones in this type of design. And then the detailed dogwood, which hopefully you've seen me use quite a bit recently um, with a bit of coloring and you can make some um, other random backgrounds with all of those designs. So that's the stamp set and bosom folder. We also have the DSP. So there's five DSPs, DSP pack, shall I say, in... Um, the celebration so you have softly stippled um oh no i think there's a, a six one. Oh no I, no there's only five okay <laughs> i can't remember but yes uh softly stippled 
they are 12 by 12 but these ones I've cut down to 12 by 6 as we are doing our paper share for UK customers um, and if you opt for the gold option you will get these in your paper share plus more for free so you get five um, so you get samples of each pack so that one is the trusty toolbox and closing um, the booking closing for that is this evening at 10 p.m. because we're going to um, order that as soon as um, it's available online but I'll just quickly do these and go through flight and airy for those who have seen these I don't know um, which one is your favorite DSP or do you prefer to have stamp set as a freebie or DSP or it just depends on what you like in the design wise so flight and airy with birdings and leafings and patterns <laughs> most adored which has got some gold foiling it's a lovely marble um, small flower design heart background dashes through the snow. what did you say through the snow through the snow dashes Dashes through this. <laughs> it's not Christmas anymore. I'm a little bit early, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Way too early. And some more flowers. And uh, that one. Plaid. And on the back, it's nice and red for Valentine's or anniversaries or wedding. Um, I think it's flirty flamingo and real red. So different colors on the back, which is quite nice. I think I prefer the gold foiling. And last but not least, sunny days with clouds, flowers, rainbows, and cherries. Where's my rainbows? I think it's on the other side. Oh, strawberries, there you go. And on the other side, you have sun as well. And some patterns. So quick, um, overview of what uh, we've got so far we haven't got all of them <laughs> yet we, we will see so as I said we, I'll do watercolor melon I'll do something simple I might pair it with filled with happiness which is from the mini catalog because that kind of like matches and I'm using the hashtag simple stamping uh, challenge by Stampin' Up this month which is a birthday card um, and just create a simple stamping card and post it on social media so I thought um, oh and optional celebration so I thought well I'll mix that one and the sentiment happy birthday so that can be done quickly uh, watermelon So I, I thought I saw uh, we had who else have come in recently? We have I think Lisa was the last time. Critters in Ink Designs. Lisa got Anne. We have um, who else have we got there? We've got Carol. We've got Patricia and Satish. Barb. Um, that's it, I think, so far. So thank cool. you all for joining us. Yes. Right, I'm just putting this on and shall I build a watermelon I'll do them Charlotte's just asked do we have nature's notes or hot air balloon bundle I can say no to the hot air bundle but I don't know about nature's notes nature's notes is from or is that from lovely and sweet we're planning on getting that I believe if that's the one that I'm thinking of with the grunge. I can't show you the catalog just yet because technically it's still not live. So for the polymer, I'll just do some stamping. 
So we have the big one. And Sharon, Nanny Shara Shara's turn. Hey. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. And Sharon, he actually did do a wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> was I the only one? Did you not do that? I did a little wiggle too. Okay. And Stitchy Masseur has just joined us. Hello. 40. I'll just check. 40, 40, 40. I'm just checking about that Nate, what was it? What did um, Charlotte said? Um, nature's notes. Notes of nature, I think she meant. Notes of nature, yes, I am planning on getting that one, even if Barry isn't. <laughs> 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 right, I'm just gonna. So watermelon, granny apple green, shaded spruce. Let's have a look. I'll do shaded spruce first. I'm sure I've already. Um, Ink this up recently. Check my modern oval where it's gonna, yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. So it's quite dark. First generation, I think second generation would be too light. So I've already touched it. I'll check uh, Granny Apple Green. Deborah's Smith has joined us as well. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Catalogs in the post. Yes, Pauline and Deborah catalogs in the post for you. Which watermelon do you prefer? Darker or lighter? I think I actually prefer the darker. I'm just looking for my water painters. Or Wink of Stella would do work, okay? And I don't know where it is. I like the lighter to work lighter than that. Have you seen the water painter? It's gone walkies. So wink of Stella it is. <laughs> so what you could do as well if you want a two-tone, either stamp it on a colored card so then the lighter areas are already colored. Which I think I did last time. Where are you? John says lighter looks more realistic. Is Cheryl it? says light is more natural looking. Um, Charlotte says garden green question mark. Oh, oh, garden green, yes. See, I always thought it's dark. Well, the watermelon that we normally get isn't like tiger stripes. <laughs> What's it called? Why are you having Barry? <laughs> Tigers. What? Well, it's stripy. Garden green. Okay, let's go garden green and check that one. Yes, that is. That's why I, I have in my mind the dark, the um, round ones. I think the lighter one is the uh, Mario says um, lighter better. Charlotte says round ones are dark color. Yeah. Lighter for Mardi, Citrus Sue, lighter. Okay, cool. So I will Go just... what you like, Jay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I prefer the darker, to be honest. But I, I will go... If the go... darker works with your project... No, nope, that's darker. fine, because I can just stamp the leafings in the darker colour. So we'll have a contrast, won't we? So I'm just spreading this one with Wink of Stella. Mum says that shape looks like more like a marrow than a melon. Mm -hmm. It is running out. I do have some more. I haven't really crafted for, well, because you did the live last time, didn't I you, did. Barry? Yeah. Because he was messing with me, 
I don't know what you mean. I don't know where you put your water painters. Well, it was on top there. Because, uh, it's probably in here. It's fine. I don't need it now. Until I need it next time. <laughs> but tonight? No. So that one's done. So let's build one. Granny apple green, did we say? And for the red, I think sweet sorbet. look nice because it's just lighter red all right I can't see properly but that looks all right that, that'll do <laughs> sorry love it and pip Black or early espresso? Black. I love watermelons. Right, I'll just do, oh, I can't do random, but I'll try. I'll do five. <laughs> Five for odds. Hi, Janice. Ooh, yes. Um, so Patricia Toth said, uh, "Do it in orange, and it'll look like pumpkins for um, fall." Right, that one hasn't got a punch, so I'm just going to fussy cut it. Yes. It's so cold uh, because it's not. It's just a uh, this. Uh, so Nancy Amato said that uh, she loves that the seeds can be used for raindrops as well because it's just the outer outline. It's not even a. It's not a detailed one where it's got reflections or inside bits. Okay, so this one is slightly bigger. Um, if that annoys you or it concerns you a little bit, you can just ink up a little bit. So what I guess you could do is do the sweet sorbet first because really that bottom bit matches the bigger wedge. Uh, okay, I'll do it there. And where's my wedge at? So you, um, so you could always just double check where it finishes. Probably like an eighth of an inch or on the edge. Use the edge of your ink pad. Of course, the it won't be as bumpy, I guess. Okay, I can add a bit more. And just stamp it. So the edge is a better looking edge. So it fits better. All right, that's done. Shall I do another one? No. <laughs> that's fine. So I've got my two and I will just finish up. 
so really, because this is my simple standby, <laughs> really easy. And it's a happy birthday they want. with green oh just do black green and oh shall I do night of navy starry sky <laughs> I, I know sorry Marty I, I try my hardest, but it doesn't always work out. So, right, I'm just eyeballing this. Hopefully it's right. And I should have used my pierce mat, but I'll just keep that longer. taller than normal. I must have cut that incorrectly but easily yeah. so that's gonna go in flat is that really simple I don't know <laughs> I think so um, we will also use some DSP or accent. Where are we? Bear with. I do have it somewhere. So self ad um, yeah, self adhesive glimmer. I'm going to cut just a tiny bit because why do a full one when you can just do a tiny bit? Uh, five and a half, so the same height. And what did I do? Is that point five? So instead of doing it underneath, I'm just going to lay it down on each side, if I can get the backing off, take a big door, that would help on it. Yeah. 
other side. So the width of my layer, I will check in a second. I think it's eight centimeters. And then the width of the gold is five millimeters. Eight is about three one eighths of an inch. And that one's just gonna be add it on. I'll use that for the next card. finish up with a bit of ribbon it's quite taller than I wanted I could oh my laying of that just make sure that you lay it quite close but that's fine um, you can add a bit of dimension to it for interest because I did add that quite high but I didn't want it too low but now that I've stuck it, I want to add some other elements to it. So I'm just going to add some emboss lines. Yeah. So instead of using my embossing, die cutting and embossing, I'll just add some lines on there. And because the gold glimmer is quite textury, <laughs> it's <laughs> they're textured. When you hit it, you can feel it, so you know when to stop. It would be nicer if it's embossed, not debossed, but that is fine. Oh, actually, with that three, let's see. I think I'll do four and then one more on top. Okay, we can do that. One, two, three. And one more. One, two, three, four, and then five. and then finish up with some embellishments did want to add some more ribbon on it but I'll just do this embellishment and then it that's fine so large one mid the middle one again I'm just gonna eyeball it in the middle and then two small one There, that's my simple stamping. Are you being sarcastic, Barry? <laughs> I do like the gold and it's shimmery. Anyway, that's the first card. And you may have noticed that I've done the layout uh, with the strip. We did the theme gathering last night and that's my, um, my simple layout and also, it's reminiscent of Global Design Project um, Challenge this week. So for my second card, I will be doing the same.
but adding a bit more layer because um, yeah <laughs> I cut the simple uh, so instead of DSP I will use paper the same so 14 so yeah so if you are wanting um, inspiration this week or you're creating something for this week and want to do a layout check out global design project there's a weekly challenge on there again I missed the deadline to add mine so because I completely forgot <coughs> excuse me um, so yes so I'll be doing that and what I quite like about this measurement is if you want this to be a layer you can add a strip of the SP which is like three inches or two seven eighths of an inch and for a 12 by 6 DSP you can get four cards um, that's how sometimes I plan my <laughs> my layouts as well or my measurements to kind of like make the most of a DSP or especially for classes and um, events uh, so that's that so that should be the same measurement and also you may remember that um, I did something on the silicon craft mat I will do that because it reminded me of you know those packaging to that holds fruits the white packaging I don't know if you know what I mean you, you know those netting netting the, <laughs> the netting this reminded me of it and when we did that on <laughs> when we when we did it I was like oh that and it looks a bit like a net so you can use it for the watermelon any fruits <laughs> oranges mm. or even like um, for the birds for the background well anyway I'm gonna do it because <laughs> shut up <laughs> shush you shush you <laughs> so this is um, part of a joining the joining offer from celebration during celebration uh, so you get the silicon studio craft sheet <laughs> I don't know what they're called um, this glass mat which is huge and it's um, we just keep the corners because we prop it up right but you can see the reflection so we're, we don't use it as much online live What is it called? It is called Yeah, silicon mat. Silicon mat, glass mat and a cleaning cloth. Um, so if you join our team during celebration you can have that as option one or there's an option two so you get thirty pounds more on top of the a hundred and thirty pounds. Isn't it? Alright. Anyway, yeah. do let us know if you want more information. But I'm just gonna do smoky slate. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, oh, it's not gonna fit. But to be fair, I can. I want to concentrate more on the middle. So if that's there. Smoky slate. I want it lighter, so I'm just going to take some off. Some are darker, that's fine, he says. And so it's not too. Um, what you call it? 
straight I'm just taking some off on the bottom I guess you can use your dauber as well that would be good so you can see the design a bit more and you can control the amount of color and um, that's going on there so do people know what I mean about the so that's just gonna go there we'll see how it works it worked fine the first time I did it a month or two ago I think a month ago so you just get a hint of the background if I do that and then let's use a dauber because I'm not entirely convinced <laughs> you're probably thinking what what is that so for That's clean. Oh, this got a bit of green. I touched it and it was fine. Anyway. There we go. I don't know what color that is now. <laughs> I'm gonna cut another piece. Or use the back, but I think the back I've made funky now. Are you 14? So eight. fingers crossed okay I didn't I probably need smaller block let's see if I can uh, do that because I'm not adding enough pressure in the middle third time lucky hopefully let's do it again there we go Yay, there we go. <laughs> Finally. It's a bit it's a bit greeny because I had some green in my dauber and I used smoky slate. But I quite like it. Anyway, we're gonna go with it. So that one you can use the cleaning cloth um, that comes with the studio glass mat. That's just a thinner version of the chamois so you can clean your studio and your stamps with this as well I'll need to do that later on because oh no actually see it's fine just need to crumple it up in between but I'm think I'm thinking that can probably be cut down smaller how did that open Did you cut this? This, there's a. Um, oh no, you didn't. Oh, I think you did. There's a tiny bit of plastic there that you can open it, but I think we were too um, excited to open it. Right, that is now done. I'm just gonna do some more stamping with. I might as well use that. my thing watermelon even so shall I do garden green so the garden garden green did the I can't speak garden green did dry lighter 
but I think I still prefer the granny apple. Let's go granny apple. This one, I'm just gonna spread the ink because it's still hopefully slightly wet. I don't need to add a bit any more color onto it. I'm also gonna stamp. Ooh, okay, I'll, I don't wanna really want to fussy cut that thing. <laughs> and I'm sure you don't want to see me fussy cut that. So I'll just stamp that on the layer. says yeah go with what looks good in the card regardless of realism so go with what you think is best <laughs> uh, so uh, I want a darker <coughs> what you want to call it leaves so I will use the shaded spruce for the leaves on the left hand side and that's gonna be hidden most of it but I just want a hint on the top and I can add a second second one because that's gonna go there and we can have another one on the right hand side we already have the pre-cut from earlier watermelon and then we just need a sentiment so that I'll show you the uh, layout so it's one panel and then some ribbons or twine and a label so I'm using that label bit as my watermelon and for my sentiment this time I will just do congratulations just because it's there and it's right or do you want thanks Barry? Barry prefers thanks <laughs> we'll do thanks So I will need to fussy cut that one though. Right, thanks. So green, green, this green, red, and black. I'm gonna hide you. I can hide you. <laughs> and then the things down there. No, we're good like that. Okay, um, let us just do pretty peacock. I think the blue, even though it's nice, I will just do keep it to this greens. Let's 
Sí. Quickly press the card. Or as quickly as I can. So what's everyone else been talking about, Barry, whilst I'm fussy cutting? I'm not showing the leaves look um, so pretty. There was chats earlier on about your simple stamping is everyone else's step up stamping. And um, I think it was Mardi commented saying how funny it is that you find that <laughs> your simple stamping comes that um, it comes naturally to you, but you struggle to step it down. <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> yeah. So I was looking forward to the mini catalog launch. Let us know what's on slowly. Oh, that's too close. I don't want it to be too close. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do all of them quite close. Oh, well. It's all good. And yes, I still haven't done future classes, but we have a class next week with textured floral. So the kit booking deadline will, we, we've extended to tonight. So we, we will send off the kits tomorrow if you're just wanting the online only option, uh, the deadline is next Tuesday, an hour before the class. But we've also done a new offer on our website, which is a class pass for five classes. Um, so you basically pay in advance for five classes and you save 10% and you still choose the class that you would like to attend. So technically, if you, that, if you do that twice, so for 10 classes, you get a free class for free because 10% off for each class. And um, so, yeah, so there's two options, online only and kit by post. So, um, so yes, check it out on our website. So I'm just going to do that, that, I will peekaboo that. <laughs> and to tie it, I think linen thread is nice, but maybe to make it easier, I'm just going to use this wavy trim so I don't have to wrap it around, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. And it kind of like looks because it's wavy, it's like the same as the background. Anyway, right, that, that, and I do, do I want a layer on the side? No, we'll keep it like that. So really, it's the same amount of layers as earlier, but there's a bit more elements on the top. I'm straight. Keep that flat on. Add my wavy trim. 
mini glue dot is great for this trim because each section you can't if you put it behind you can't really see it so I'm just gonna do that Ooh. Top. Where are you, dimensional? <laughs> there. Mary now wants some watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> what to eat? <laughs> or this stamp set? <laughs> What's your top three favorite fruit? I think watermelon is in my top three. Mango would be your next one, I reckon. Mango and cherry are my top three. It, it could change. <laughs> Still. Ooh, actually, I like it like that there and have it there yay okay that looks good so finish up well not finish up. <laughs> nearly done with the sentiment uh, uh, I'm just going to add that undimensional Maybe one more. And there. And then finish up with that. I think this. I did I did like the gold the gold so I'm gonna use the gold from here one two yeah three okay one two and Splatter some wink of Stella if you prefer, but I'm gonna leave it there. I've got some winking glimmer on the main one. Oh, what's happening, Barry? Sorry, I've just seen. I don't know how long it's been going for. My cover pull crust. That's all you can do. Right, hopefully you saw that. Back. Yeah, cool. So yeah, so I just, um, if you didn't see, I just added the gold self-adhesive, what are you called? Sparkle gems onto there. So I hope you enjoyed my simple and casual card featuring the watermelon watercolor melon i keep saying the wrong one watercolor melon from celebration watercolor melon available 4th of january to 29th of february 2024 right we'll quickly finish up and um we'll see some of you on zoom if you are available to spend time chatting and keeping me company when was i tidy you can chat amongst yourselves <laughs> huh? what lovely didn't he do well
So yeah, sorry about that little glitch just then. I'm not sure our, our internet's gone a little bit unstable. So fingers crossed we're going Zoom. But yes, I lay a lovely card. So I do like your simple. Very, very nice. Very, very pretty. And that one's nice as well. So yeah, you've made everyone hungry for watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, so yes, yeah, so do remember as Jay's mentioned throughout the Jay's mentioned throughout the celebration promotion starts tomorrow, so you can earn things free of charge. Um, join our team, have a nice little community going on, get some inspiration from us as well and everyone else. Um, so that starts tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that, that promotion where you get extra anyway, um, and you can purchase stuff tomorrow as well from the new catalogue. Um, but on that note, yes, I think we will say good night. Let's go over to Zoom, and yes. we will see you on Friday. Um, I think we just lost you again. Yep. We will see you on Friday. Um, for Fun Fell Friday, if not Friday, we will see you on Sunday. Cool. Thank you. Take everyone. care, everyone. Take see care. you soon. Bye bye. Bye.